I'm attorney Nick Alcock, and if you're facing a domestic violence charge in Arizona, here are some tips and some things to consider. Um, it's advice that I think can really help you. Uh, first of all, if you're facing these charges, understand that you're under a lot of stress. Uh, going to court is one of the most stressful things that you can experience. Domestic violence cases can be very, very stressful, and especially if a prosecutor is seeking jail time. So when your freedom is on the line and you're charged with a charge like this, be aware of the fact that you're under a lot of stress, take a deep breath, and don't panic, and don't do anything which can jeopardize your case. So you have a little bit of time, you can speak to multiple attorneys, you can learn a little bit more about your case before you make a decision. Uh, don't panic, and just give yourself a little bit of space, give yourself some grace, give yourself some time. Um, talking to the alleged victim of a domestic violence case, uh, case can be more serious than the underlying offense. Trying to get someone to testify a certain way can be very, very problematic. So if you're in that type of situation, of course, you maybe have a relationship uh, with your partner and your temptation may be to call your partner, talk to them, try to tell them to drop the charges. Uh, be very, very careful about that because that in itself can be a far more serious charge than the underlying domestic violence case. Also understand that the term domestic violence is very deceiving because domestic violence does not necessarily require an act of violence. So, um, for example, uh, you could have a you know, criminal damage charge where no one is hurt, there's no violence against any person, but say that a, a phone is broken or a, a, a hole is punched in a wall or something like that. So people sometimes they get really tied up with the idea that they're being charged with a domestic violence offense and they don't feel like they've done anything that was violent towards another person. And so again, this is why it's so vital for you to do your research Take some time so that you really understand what the law is, understand what the allegation is. So don't put yourself into jeopardy by contacting a victim and telling them not to press charges against you. That could be a felony. That can be far, far more serious than a misdemeanor domestic violence. Um, don't find yourself going down the rabbit hole of not understanding the law and feeling like you're being mistreated because um, you didn't do anything that fits what your definition of domestic violence is. And this can really affect people's decision making. Sometimes a very favorable plea offer can be made, but people don't want to take that plea agreement because they don't really fully understand what the law is and what is required of the government to prove if your case goes to trial. Finally, uh, a piece of advice I can give you which is extraordinarily important, keep in mind if you're facing any misdemeanor case, is that you absolutely have the right to get all of the police reports. You've got the right to speak with many uh, defense attorneys. You have the right to choose a defense attorney who you feel really fits you, the avenue that you want to go and what you want to accomplish. You don't have to go down and enter a plea of guilty, even if you're guilty. You have the right to enter a plea of not guilty. Find an attorney who really sees eye to eye with you and tries to get the right outcome for you. And I think that's something that makes our, our law firm a little bit special. In any domestic violence case, we're going to sit down with you. We understand uh, that every case is different. We want to get to know you, understand you, and try to look for avenues to win your case. Our consultation is totally free. Any domestic violence case in Arizona, 602-989-5000 is our phone number. 602-989-5000. Thanks so much.